Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Odin, its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Hello subscribers and non-subscribers, welcome back to Star Trek Online. A uh, couple things we're going to do real quick before we actually hop into the actual mission that we're going to be doing this episode. Um, Real quick, go through my um, R and D. Check and see if I can. Yep, can get that. Actually, I should also do one of these other ones real quick. Uh, general recruitment. Go head on over and. Set all these guys up real quick. Uh, and so while I have technically speaking become rank 50, I am not however going to go and actually uh, get that promotion. I'm pretty sure I didn't grab it yet. Pretty sure the quest is still sitting there as available. Yep, I haven't. I'm not going to accept that mission until I have finished off essentially this uh, campaign, essentially. And so, yeah, that's, that's the way that's going to be. Let's see. This character doesn't have that many duty officers in comparison to my main. My main has more duty officers than I actually need to be able to do most of these missions. So I don't actually have the space required to have them all do a mission. So, let's see, that's pretty much all of them. Yep, that actually is all of them. So let's go ahead and talk to Commander Viola real quick and get some of these quick little history missions. Okie dokie, you got this for me. And let's test our knowledge real quick. Who conquered Gila 4? Well, it wouldn't be the Federation because the Federation doesn't really conquer anything. Um. So it would either be the Gorn or the Klingon Empire, and I would honestly think it's more than likely the Klingon Empire, not the Gorn. But it could be. We're going to go with the Klingon Empire. And it was. That gives us a uh, little bit of a reward of Dilithium. Unrefined, of course, because you don't get refined Dilithium in missions. And let's go and uh, talk to the person we need to talk to for our next mission. Oh, come on, lift that up. Let's see, how many more of these do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Okay, this is going to be uh, lengthier than I would have originally thought. Let's see, uh, the crew chases down rumors the former Romulan Praetor is still alive and searches for proof that she was responsible for the destruction of the Romulan homeworld. Okay, Admiral Tanay, I'm going to talk to you on my um, tricorder, or no, not tricorder. Is it tricorder? I, I honestly don't recall. I mix those up. I don't think it's tricorder, though. I think it's something else. But whatever. Uh, so, let's see. How much do you know about the destruction of Romulus Admiral? The initial explosion did not occur in the Romulus system. It was in the Hobus system, which had planets being mined for decalthium. The supernova acted counter to almost all we know about this type of phenomena. The initial explosion converted the mass of the planet it consumed into energy, which then traveled through subspace. Ultimately, the Romulan system was destroyed, and along with it, the Romulan homeworld. Unchecked, the force of this chain reaction detonation could have threatened the entire quadrant. It was Admiral, or Ambassador Spock, I was about to say Admiral, no. Ambassador Spock, who sealed the rift by using red matter to create an artificial black hole. Until recently, the cause of the supernova was a mystery. However, the Nassian Romulan Republic, our new ally, has shared information with us that Taurus, former Praetor of the Romulan Star Empire, may have been responsible for the Hobus supernova. They attempted to apprehend her, 
but she escaped through an Iconian gateway, of course. Recently, the Romulan Republic has discovered new information that could help us track down Taurus. We want you to rendezvous with the RRW Lisa Let her. Le Lelicet? Oh, uh, well, that's what we'll go with. The new flagship of the Romulan Republic fleet, and provide any assistance you can. Okay, and we get some choices of shields. Kidoki, yep, I'll accept that. Goodbye, Admiral Tanay. And. Uh, beam me up to the uh, Beta Quadrant Vulcan sector, apparently. Ready to beam you up on your command and then depart for the Beta Quadrant. Vulcan sector, what, what? Beta Quadrant? We should be in Beta Quadrant, correct? Yes, we are. Okay, I just wanted to check and make sure. Okay, so where exactly do we need to go for this mission? Up there to the Hobus system. It's not that far away. And I can actually use quantum slip sl eh, quantum slipstream drive now. Move that over there cuz there's no need for it to be there for me at least. Oh, wait, what? You guys, keep going. Don't stop just because we are talking to somebody now. Uh, it appears Tholians have taken up residence on the class Y planet, the new Kura system. Very uncharacteristic for such an isolationist species. We need to figure out what has brought them so far out of their home space before we are confined with a large war fleet at our doorstep. We have a small scouting party ready on, already on the planet. Grab an environment suit and report to the base camp commander there. Okay, maybe later. I don't actually have a uh, environmental suit, I believe, right now. Although I do believe I can buy a cheap one from them. And it's literally cheap, so it doesn't really have any bonuses to it. Um, okay, let's see. I don't really have any, have enough of these marks here as it stands right now anyway I may just fast forward this in post or cut it out completely who knows we'll see don't stop Let's see do I have engineering I don't have an engineering team don't have tactical team either. Well, actually I might, but I just don't have them, like, on my bar here for one reason or another. Um, and I already have science team, so I don't need that. I'd rather go with this one here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Betazoid Engineering Officer. And I think this is like the first male member of our team. I think pretty much our entire crew is female. Yeah, this is the first male member of our crew. <laughs> yes, you can join. Stop the ship. Uh, oh, and his uniform's already pretty much set up as it needs to be. And he's got a, a bit of a, what, beer belly, I think that is, or whatever. Uh, ooh, uh, yeah, I'll just... Do your own thing for now, dude. Uh, although I will promote you real quick. Okay, okay and let's see, who do I uh, have you replace? I think I'll have you replace this one. And let's go and clear off these abilities because I don't need them sitting here. And let's begin Taurus. Sir, we have arrived in the Hobus system. We are being hailed by the RRW uh, Lisa. L eh. L whatever, we're just going to call this Romulan Ship A from now on. That's its name. It is a pleasure to be working with you. 
I heard about how you got your first command. Well done. Not every officer could have stood up to the board like you did. That seems like it's a uh, place, not really a placeholder, but so we did not originally fight the Borg at all. I don't think any of our, I don't think our original campaign was against the Borg. Was it? No, our original campaign was against the Klingons. We haven't even fought the Borg. Granted, when I made my main character, you did originally fight the Borg um, at the very beginning of the game, and then your first sort of campaign was against the Klingons. The first, like, chapter was against the Klingons, however, before that, what, with this character was the Academy, was a, you're on a sh station or something that was attacked by the Borg, so this seems like it was sort of a, they took it from there, but we haven't even fought the Borg yet as this character. The pleasure is mine, Commander. Agents working for the Romulan Republic have recovered definite proof that Taurus, or persons working for Taurus, were responsible for the Hobus supernova that destroyed the whole world. Our agent spoke to Taurus. She claims that she was deceived by Hakiv, but that does not excuse her culpability in the destruction of two inhabited worlds and the deaths of millions. Our agent tells us that Taurus believes her Iconian masters can change the past and restore Romulus. So not only is she a killer, she's insane. Well, now, technically speaking, for all we know, the Iconians could do that. And while I haven't actually finished watching the entirety of Star Trek, it might actually be noted in an episode, for all I know, that they actually are capable of turning back time, essentially. Uh, but what do you suggest we do with her, Commander? Tiaru Jakar? Or Jarok? We'll go with Jarok. Well, that sounds Klingon, but whatever. Taurus cannot be allowed to commit even greater crimes in an attempt to fix her mistake. My intelligence officer, Lieutenant Gaius Salon, has intercepted communications that may allow us to locate Taurus and finally bring her to justice. I'll let him explain in greater detail. Now, when I say that sounds like Klingon, I haven't actually met the Klingons yet in um, what I've watched so far of the original series. Um, so, yeah. I say that, it just sort of seems like it could be Klingon, but whatever. Very well, Commander. Greetings. I am Lieutenant Gaius Salon of the Romulan Republic. There are certain pleasantries that are customary in these circumstances. However, I'm choosing to skip those. We have much to do. Recently, the Republic intercepted a transmission from a group of Remans in the Hobus system. These Remans have remained loyal to Taurus former Praetor of the Romulan Star Empire, who was deposed by Zealand. While the transmission was not unusual, its origin point was. The Hobus system is under strict quarantine. However, a previous team uncovered a mining facility at one of the planetary fragments. We believe that the Reman loyalists may have returned to this facility to continue their efforts. And why exactly is the system under quarantine? The Hobus system is the origin point supernova and subsequent subspace explosion which destroyed Romulus and Remus. It is still, as you say, a hot zone. The Remans loyal to Taurus are using the quarantine as a cover to resume their operations in the system. The transmission we intercepted was addressed to Commander Aran, a Reman who was the captain of Taurus's personal guard. He must be the liaison to the forces in the Hobus system. But I thought Remus was, uh, Save, or well, not necessarily save, but it was relatively unaffected by this. I could have sworn that was said at one point, unless I am remembering wrong, which actually is probably the case. Uh, but what do you suggest, Lieutenant Gaius Salon, with your Borg implant? The direct approach. If we confront the forces in the Hobbit system, are in violation of both Federation and Romulan Republic mandates by their very presence there, they will send a call for assistance to Commander Aranbo. Once he arrives, we simply follow him. It is likely that he will lead us back to Taurus. A sound plan. Um, not really, if you ask me, but whatever. We'll tell you it's a sound plan, even if we don't really think it is. 
Although I doubt I could come up with a better one, but nonetheless. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've just received emergency orders from Republic Command and must respond. Gaius can transport to your ship and help you complete the mission. We'll return as soon as we can. Okay, Commander. Well, that's acceptable, and we'll see you later, I hope. Unless your ship gets blown up. I doubt that'll happen. So let's go ahead on a uh, I am detecting trip. some very rare minerals in the system, as well as the presence of protocol. It is possible that Taurus used the materials here to construct her weapon. Interesting, but before we go and deal with Taurus, we're gonna go and get some uh, um, scannables over here. That's apparently where we need to go. Planetary fragment out. Well, actually, no, probably not. Um, oh, probably got to go to planetary fragment B or beta, excuse me. So let's head on over to Alpha real quick. The planetoid's core contains trace signs of protomatter, sir. We should get a sample. Scanners are also picking up some odd readings from some of the icy asteroids near the core. I recommend we investigate them as well. Prepare to collect a sample. Collect part of the sample. Okay, and there's an icy fragment, or icy fragments. Let's scan them. And of course, they're like, okay, now we're gonna make you play the waveform game, or whatever. Confirm, sir, these fragments are decalphia. If we can locate a supply of test. Tekasite, that means Taurus could have had all the ingredients she needed to build the device right in this system. It is still circumstantial evidence unless we can tie it to her directly somehow. Collecting a sample would be crucial. I recommend that we scan for Tekasite deposits. Retrieve a sample and set course for the nearest planetary fragment. Which is technically behind us, but whatever. Let's go and get her decalthium. Captain, ready men ships decloaking. Where? Fire our torpedoes, what the hell happened to them? It's gonna hurt. Up at our left shields. Left shields, left shields, left shields. Okay. Now then, let's go and get those uh, anomalies. As long as we don't get into another fight. Okay, energy to shields. Sir, I'm detecting high levels of tekasite in this planetary fragment. Tekasite was one of the 
substance or er, substances Starfleet believes was used in the creation of the weapon that triggered the Hobus supernova. Okay, thanks for that information. We're not going to collect the sample just yet. I want to make sure I have all the things I need here. Which means all of these anomalies. So let's go and get our hexafluorine gas. And for that, and we're going to head over here real quick and grab this as well. It should be the only other anomaly here. Uh, hydrazine gas. Okie dokie. Scan the hydrazine gas. And turn around. Come on. Distribute power to shields, damn it. Get all my shields up and operational. Why are you guys taking so long to get our shields back up? If you're gonna take that long though, I might as well just say screw it. So, collect a sample. Slow down. And. As I suspected, the materials are all here. Our agent located Taris on planetary fragment Gamma. We should continue our search there. She is over there. Don't know why they go Alpha, Beta, Gamma. Other than going Charlie. But that's apparently what they decided to do. Oh, and you can kind of see what looks like uh, facilities over there. Scanners are detecting some kind of shield covering a large crater on the surface of the planet, uh, planetary fragment Gamma, Captain. This system is supposed to be under quarantine, but clearly there is some activity. We should get a scan of the shield. Okie dokie, we'll scan the shield. Which is over on this side. Oh, okay, that's... Okie dokie. Scan the shield. Don't get in front of it. Sir, our scan has triggered automated defense systems and a Riemann ship is decloaking. They are hailing us on screen. Uh, the IRW Sithahets, or something like that. Your presence here is a violation of the quarantines established by at least three sovereign governments. Explain your purpose. Uh, well, I mean, you're one to talk. You're also here violating the quarantine. Uh... But, you know, if you want to ignore that fact, so be it. Uh, we are here to investigate your unauthorized presence in this system. What's your excuse? I serve the Romulan star in my Renish That is the only authorization I require. Well now, dude, that kind of sucks for you. Sir, if we can disable the Sith S, it's possible we may be able to lure out out Aranu to investigate. My thoughts exactly. Good, we're getting into a fight. Goodbye. Let's get that up. Fire a torpedo at his torpedo and fail miserably. Oh my god. It's these guys again with their freaking torpedoes like there's no tomorrow. Oh my god, ouch. Ow. My ship is hurting. My ship is hurting. Please don't do this to me. Let's get some foot support up in here. Don't do this to me. I don't even know what the hell that does, but we're gonna use it anyway. Can't quite see. Sentinel class cruiser, which is similar in design to ours, taking all the fire. Attacking on me. I predict that Aranhu will approach to invest. 
Okay, Sentinel class cruiser, follow me! Maybe. I mean, you don't have to, but I kind of advise it. Well then, Lieutenant Gaius Salan, with the no background because they didn't feel like putting one there, let's hope so. Aranu's ship is, has gone to warp. Shall we follow? Of course. 